What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In this week's best play of the week, we're going to be talking about the best deep bomb in Madden NFL 25. I've been working on this for a couple of days, going back and forth, which uh, which one I really wanted to show you guys. Um, but we are in the Giants playbook, and it comes from the Giants slot trail, one of my favorite plays, uh, my, my favorite passive play in the game. And uh, it just is um, a lot of people are going to call cover two uh, man under. Uh, as their basic defense and this is something that you can use to really burn them over the top so one of the most popular defenses this season is the um, 46 bear uh, under or the 46 normal and in this video we'll just show you it out of the the normal I feel like it has the better coverage version and uh, the two men under and we'll show you this uh, deep bomb. Remember, it's uh, using the New York Giants playbook. And the play is the Giants slot trail uh, out of the shotgun normal wing New York. All right, and we're going to back the ball up here. Uh, going back a little bit. We're going to go back just serviceably, be, serviceably about right here-ish. And this uh, deep bomb is, I like to use this at the like on the first play of the drive or in second and short stuff like that where you just want to take a shot and see if they're really not playing a good deep coverage and this is just a really good play so let's go over this real quick what I want you to do and there's two setups um, the first setup is the kind of like normal setup that I would normally run and the second setup is when I'm going all out for the deep bomb so the first setup is we're just going to put DeMarco Murray on a wheel and we're going to motion snap Austin to the inside two, step, two steps so one, two, snap, go, and we're going to wait, 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 and then just lob the ball over the top. And you see once, um, and if you guys have ever heard anybody talk football, sometimes you hear them use the phrase, if he's even, he's leaving, uh, he's leaving, and, and no different here. You see DeMarco Murray, as soon as he gets even with that linebacker, is going to roast him in man coverage, and you see that that deep blue over here over the two men under, it just can't get over there because of the route combination that we've set up on the left side of the screen. All right, so now um, we're going to man a line to get it a little bit better uh, coverage just to show you it does work if they man a line or anything like that. Uh, same setup, motion snap after two steps. If he's even, he's leaving. Just pa uh, pass lead up, uh, and basically you just pass lead at 12 o'clock, and you're going to lob the ball. Um, sometimes I hold L2. I don't know if that really does anything, to be honest. Um, but it activates the precision modifier. I do know that much, so it may activate some kind of touch pass. Um, so I just do it just out of habit now. But uh, you see, but there, if you don't throw, if he's not even, and you try to throw it, uh, you see that the, the linebacker will get in the way. But as soon as he's even, uh, you're pretty much bulletproof to throw this. So here he's even, and we just lob it over top. And you see, Demarco Murray just make a, a great catch. Now. The second setup, or the second version, is uh, you're you're gonna try to get a little bit better, uh, a bigger home run play uh, out of this out of this play. So what we're gonna do with this now is we're gonna block our tight end to give us some protection. We're gonna take Miles Austin and we're gonna put him on a curl route. Excuse me, and then we're gonna put Demarco Murray on a wheel route. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna motion Demarco Murray to the left. And right before he sets, we're going to snap the ball. So, like, he's going to come to a point, and then he's going to stop. And as soon as he stops, immediately snap the ball. So, here we go. Wait, wait. And now he's going to set, stop, and then uh, snap it. And the same thing. As soon as he's even, he's leaving. And you can get the ball over the top. That time, Bruce Wagner made, or, uh, or excuse me, Bobby Wagner made a phenomenal play there. Um, he has 80, he has like 89 speed, one of the fastest middle linebackers, uh, in the business, and you, you see, I mean, even there, uh, this, this pass, uh, I don't like to always lob it, sometimes I'll, uh, I'll bullet pass it, and there I was off balance, so, uh, and I forgot, I think I forgot to block the tight end, but the idea here is it's just something that can really kill two man under, um, man, that pass rush is intense, and what you'll see, this is, um, a lot of times what I'll do with this is it kills maximum coverage defenses. So this was actually something I was working on earlier today and uh, trying to figure out if there is a way because I played a guy on Virgin Gaming the other night who really had good um, uh, maximum coverage two men under. And this play, there you see it right there. There's the separation we want. And then we just lob it over. Um, we need to bullet that. But we just go over the top of that of that max coverage defense. It seems like the 46 does a really good job of covering it because of the positioning of the safeties. Um, I think I called, yeah, I called the wrong play there. Let me man align it again. 
it's just because the alignment of the safeties it does do a better job covering it than um, than like a standard dime or something. Um, but you'll see. I mean, we still have this separation that we can. Man, that CL pass rush though is crazy good. But I'm I'm just saying like you're gonna have a you're gonna have a snap read too like. Obviously, you don't just want to have one read on a play that, you know, like, so for this, like, we would put maybe Des Bryant on a drag to have a quick read in case they are sending pressure or something. But if it's mainly, this is set up as mainly just to go all out BD Max coverage. And there you see the separation I'm talking about. Well, Wagner kind of stayed with him there. But we're, we're starting to kind of see the idea here. This is just uh, simple stuff here. It's just the idea. And, and obviously, you know, uh, Romo's not a phenomenal deep thrower in my opinion in this game uh someone that would be might may, maybe a little more better there you see the catch there but someone who may be a little better uh obviously peyton manning is one of the better quarterbacks in the game but uh, i think the deep best deep thrower that i came across was um jay cutler from the chicago bears with forte running this route uh it's almost like unfair See, that safety stays down on it. But you see, you can click on it. Um, the thing I like about it is the flexibility. Because if, even if they even if they don't, if you don't, if you don't get the separation you want to get, you can click on to the route and uh, make a user catch. And that way that way it kind of saves you. Because if you, for some reason, if the, if the, the defense does a good job and, and is able to, to stay with him, you just click on him and you can just get big. And, and like, they don't, it, it's, you. I don't really ever throw an interception on this. And that's why I like doing it. Um, I do want to show you it out of a standard for a dime. I think it's because of the alignment of the safeties. We're not getting the same separation I was hoping for uh, on the uh, two men under out of the 46. But uh, same play here, just out of dime now. Uh, the 46 actually is a really special formation this year. And there. And there you see. Um, I think I called. I think I forgot to put the curl out there. One sec, guys. Alright, so... Let's see. Uh, you may need to actually pump fake, too. That was something I was actually messed with. Pump fake does a lot for you this game. Man, it must be Earl Tom There it is. That's what I was trying to get. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. Then, obviously, we could run that in. Um, that's what I was trying to show you, and this is what happens when you... If you... You see how the safety sucks down on that post route? That's what we're looking for. Because he's the only thing that is standing between DeMarco and a touchdown on these passes where we could, we were, where we just user catch them, and a lot of times, guys, and this is what I'm saying, the when you when you get the safety to bite on it, it's money in the bank. And I don't know why he wasn't biting on it before, but it may have just been we were throwing a little too early. Um, so, anyways, let's take a look at that one more time here, and then we'll let you guys. Uh, and then I'll show you one other play I like out of the Giants playbook. And he doesn't suck down there. I don't know why he's... I think it might just be Earl Thomas is just super aware. I was doing it earlier with the... Uh, against the Houston Texans. And Ed Reed was sucking down every time on me. There it is. And you see he goes to the inside and that's all you need. And then you can try to get that, get on the years of catch game there. Um, another thing that I've noticed as well is if you leave DeMarco in the backfield sometimes, that first setup I gave you guys, it's actually a lot. You see there, there's the suck down and just lob over top. And uh, real quick, I want to touch on that. Obviously, you need to bullet. Uh, you need to you know kind of get that out there a little more. But um, when you motion in for some reason, it seems like he always sucks down. I don't know. But it's just something uh, I wanted to give you guys two, two different options here on how to do it. I really think that the first one is a little better. You see there, again, sucks down, and then you just throw over top. I like to click on and go ahead and make that catch myself. Obviously, if you're running like drops, there's nothing you can do. But the idea here is to get the ball, to give him a shot, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity uh, late and, and deep. And you see another, again, sucks down that safety. You're going over the top, and there you see DeMarco Murray catches it. And if that's the last two, you know, tw Last play a half, uh, that's just going to devastate your opponent going into halftime because a lot of people think that two-man under is one of the safest coverages they can do. And the cool part about this is it's not just two-man under. So um, let me show you um, with this middle linebacker dropping in the deep. So here we're going to drop the middle linebacker deep. Use that motion in. And you see, once again, now it's just wide open because the, actually the linebacker is on the running back. Let me, let me put someone else deep that's not the middle linebacker. Let me just throw Maxwell into a deep zone. 
And um, let's hope not we don't get sacked by the Seattle pass rush. So here we go. Oh my gosh. You see, but he did he did suck down. I just didn't have a chance to throw the ball. So let me let me just quarterback spy these guys. And like I say, you know, this is a situation where obviously practice mode the pass rush is really good in it. Uh, I've, I've noticed that. I don't know if any of you guys have. Pax mode, the the block shot pressure is very good. But in game mode, normally they'll be dropping guys back or whatever. This is just something I really, really wanted to share um, because in there you want to kind of get it out there. That's what I'm saying. You want to get a quarterback that, in my opinion, when you're picking a team, your quarterback needs to have um, at least 95 throw power for this. Um, I don't know if that's what Tony Romo has or not. I was just working on this today. I figured I'd just show you it, show you what I had found. But um, here we go. We're gonna take a look again. But you see that safety sucks down. That's all we're really looking to get, and then just lob over top, and you can make the user catch. Uh, and if, if they try to intercept it, you saw there, they're gonna fall out of bounds. So it's just such a safe, uh, safe bet for a deep throw. Um, one more time here, and then we'll get out of this. I really wanted to see if I could maybe possibly um, show you what happens, like against zone two real quick so I'll show you one zone play after this but once again just motion him in and there's there it is and like I said you know that the safety will suck down and it's just very difficult for them to stop so they may think okay well I'll call cover three right and I'll just back the coverage off well watch what happens in cover three it's the same thing it's the same exact uh, separation because uh, for whatever reason the routes work together so well in this play that you see that safety just sucked down, and then like we can user catch that. Um, I got to work on my user catch game, but you know it's just something to get you that one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And in a zone version, actually is a little bit more vulnerable to the motion out play. You see there, motion out play, and then you just break, you know, try to break a tackle. So it's it's really a pretty safe deep threat um, option, and I, I just wanted to share it with you guys. I've been running this. Uh, for a while, um, just never really uh, put the deep ball together with the, the play. So I figured it would be awesome to show you. I know some of you guys are probably running Giants Slot Trail this year. Um, and I just I just feel like this is a good uh, complement to it because it's it's one of those things where it's like late at half and, and you're, sh you're just trying to take a shot deep and you're going to show them the same look they've been seeing all game long and then next thing you know, it's, it's over top. And then I wanted to show you one other play real quick, and then we'll get out of here. This one's not really that complicated. It's pretty simple. And I ran this uh, sometimes at the end of half as well. It's from the Gun Wing Trips Week New York. And the play we're going to be looking at is the Giant Slot Wheel. Uh, real quick, let me grab a dime formation here, two man under. Uh, typically what you'll see in this situation, uh, they're going to block. Uh, we're going to block both these guys here. And then we're just going to drag around Des Bryant. And the goal here is one of these wheel routes to use or catch it. So like here, typically I'll go to the left one, and you see that's exactly why right there. You're basically just trying to get a user catch. Uh, that's all this is. Um, this is just one. It's not one that's going to crush it, you know, over top or anything. It's more or less just you trying to say, okay, I've got 15 seconds left. Can I throw one of these wheel routes? And you see the one on the right actually gets pretty good, uh, pretty good separation against man coverage. I mean, they both get really good. Uh, separation. The, the question is whether or not you can get it over the safety, which I haven't found a good way to get it over the safety, but I have found a good way to go up and make a uh, try to make a one-on-one -on -one catch. Basically, just every um, the way you user catch comeback routes and the way you user catch uh, uh, basically everything this year uh, is the same user catch for this. And it's just a pass lead up, and then you're just gonna come to the inside and just try to out jump your guy. I mean, sometimes it works. Uh, you'll be surprised. I actually got one the other day in in a game. Uh, at the end of half, and so it's just a, a really good route to use if you ever if you're if you're just trying to get uh, that one catch, that one opportunity uh, late in half. And then oh, I did forget to share with you one of my favorite deep balls though. Uh, like I said, a lot of people like two man under, and, and this one comes from the Gun Normal Wing New York as well. And the play is the uh, comeback Z post, and it just kills two men under. Basically, that route to Y, you're going to wait till he lights up, and then you're going to lob pass it, and you're going to lead it to the right side of the screen. And you see it's just going to crush two men under over the top. And I, I hit these a lot. Um, if they are in, like, a cover three, uh, what you want to do is, if, you're in a, if they're in a cover three on this, then you're just going to pass lead this straight upfield. And, of course, you need to wait till he gets off the bump there. I don't know what I was thinking, but... 
guys, the deep ball is, is definitely in this year's game. I think the deep ball is really important to have in your offense. I, I didn't have it early on in the year, and I struggled to get some of the better players. And now that I've kind of been working on you know, adding that other dimension, they have to honor the fact that I can hit them deep at any moment. So you see that that play is really good because it could be two men under, it could be cover three. Uh, if they are in cover two, uh, the cool part about this is it, it kills cover two as well. Uh, because of the route combinations, you're just going to lob it to the right, and uh, he's just going to go. He's just going to go get it, and it's just a, it's, they just don't go with him for some reason. So that's two man under, and then I also I know some of you guys are going to say, oh well, what if they call the quarter three deep man? Well, that's what I was thinking because I was working on that because I was like, is there anything that could beat that deep? That normal, the first play I showed you, giant slot trail, it has an opportunity to beat it deep, and and it, I was working on this earlier. It's the same thing. It's the same front. It's the same look. But for some reason, that safety just just doesn't stay with that wheel route. And a guy like Tony Romo doesn't have is right on the edge of the arm strength. But a guy like Jay Cutler, he's not going to miss that throw. Um, you know, it's it, it's just something I think that we need to be able to at least try and attempt it because the success rate um, versus failure is a lot more. And like I said, you know, you definitely want to. Max protect here, uh, blocking your tight end just so that the, you know the pressure can't get in. But man, like if you get the separation, like right here, I could just use or catch that. But if I throw a pick, it's not a big deal because it's the end of half, and that's what I'm saying. So this is kind of that play we save uh, in our back pocket for end of half play um, and and stuff like that. So I've been this is what I've been doing uh, as far as my deep balls. Uh, what have you guys been doing? Let me know uh, what you think. I know some of you guys don't like uh, this route uh, or this play as your as your primary deep threat. Some of you don't run the Giants playbook. Um, but I think it's a pretty decent one. Uh, and definitely don't ever want to have that happen to you. But one thing I have noticed is the tight ends this year. Like, that's quarter three deep, man. <laughs> like, it's just crazy. But uh, just, just simple stuff, guys. Um... It's just something to use at the end of half. It's not something you call every play. Uh, pre it is vulnerable to, to heavy pressure and stuff like that. But, again, if you can make that, you, like, that's a 70-yard that's a pass almost. I mean, if, it, if you can make that user catch, why would you not try that at the end of half? And then maybe get a field goal, whatever. You know, quarter, deep, quarter three deep man does a good job of, of stopping the, 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 the big play threat. But what, you know, if you're thinking maybe 15, if I, I'm thinking if I have 15 seconds, I could score um, with this play because I ha you can do the out route trick, which we'll talk about later on in the, in the season, uh, how to, ma the best, uh, the best maximum coverage beating route in the game. Uh, we'll talk about that next week probably, but this is just so like, and then you just use or catch it and it's like you're already down the field and it's one of those things where it's like it's a high risk it's not even a high risk it's a low risk high reward and I'll you know I'll be willing I'm definitely willing to take that risk and if you get something like that you know I mean obviously Wagner is playing out of his mind but if you have a quarterback that can get the ball over the top it's like it's just something guys I, I think it's a really really good and really underrated uh, thing to use in this game so be sure to add it to your arsenal if you like it if you don't like it uh, what do you like on the deep ball say you're uh, say you're down uh, you have one timeout you're down by three and you got the ball on the 10 yard line what are you calling what are you calling to get down the field um, you know are you just going to go two three deep out routes but what if they shade their coverage out you know it's like I don't know I don't know. I mean, I really like this play, guys. I, even though, even though a quarter three deep can kind of stay with it, it's like at the same time though, it doesn't stay with it. It's just kind of like if I have enough time. It, it, that's the main thing. If they if they want to, you know, if they drop everyone back, I feel like I could complete this pass uh, nine times out of ten. But if they if they pressure you, then obviously you know you're gonna have to throw comeback routes, which is why I'm uh, leading me up to my next thing. What do you call on defense in that time? I just want to hear your guys' thoughts uh, on this. I think this subject is pretty uh, interesting uh, to talk about on this channel. Uh, but here again, you see the safety. He stays there, and if he's even, he's leaving. You lob it up over the top, and then now you just maybe try to make a user catch if it's underthrown. But it's just something, guys. I, I really appreciate another opportunity to share with you guys today. Uh, it's been great, um, and I just wanted to, 
I just wanted to, to shed some light on this pass. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it, like I said, you know, it's just something at the end of half. It's not like I'm going to call this every play. Uh, it's not like I'm going to try to hit the deep bomb every single time. It's just something that I felt like if we had something that we could compete with quarter three deep man, then maybe this would be it because we can make that user catch maybe. But if we throw, you know, but it's like it's even if we throw the pick, it's like end of half, so it's like not a big problem, so... I don't know. Let me know. And then you could run this to the uh, real quick. You could run it to the right too. You could put Des Bryant on a smart route and in route, and then motion Murray to the right. And now all of a sudden everything flips itself. So now you're going to look to the right side first. And you see that time the safety played really well, played really deep. But I don't know. Uh, I love it against two man under. I mean that's for sure. Two man under it kills it. Uh, also uh, cover three. Like if if they're running quarter three deep cover three, um, you'll see here. Same type of thing happens. That safety gets sucked down, and then now we have that position. And like I said, you see that happens right there, and then all of a sudden you're in field goal range. Then you call your one timeout. You throw like a five-yard out route or something, get the ball out of bounds, and then you kick field goal, and then all of a sudden at a 15-second uh, possession, you're already down the field. I don't know, guys. Uh, obviously, quarter three deep is, is, is the, probably the toughest one to go against, but look at that user. Ca like They can't do anything about that, and it's – it's it's really difficult, and then we'll look at the man again because I think the man is is a little bit tighter uh, to squeeze it into, especially if you get pressured. Dang it! I must just spy him. That's one thing, man. Practice modes pressure is so freaking tight. But like I said, you know that's kind of the thing too. Would you send pressure against this? There, even he's leaving. And then it's just like try to make a jump catch. It's like you have the the you have a separation. So uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. What else would you guys think? What what would you guys call that? There's a play from Arizona's playbook. Uh, halfback wheel uses the same concept as this. Uh, you may check it out. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but you see that safety comes up, and then even he's leaving. And then I just need to I just need Romo to get the ball out a little more, but. Man, that's that's kind of pretty good. And, and a lot of people, including myself, will press coverage this play. And if they press coverage this play, I have a feeling that it's going to get really it's going to get real dicey here. Yep. And then I just use a catch and that's like you're 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 already down the field. You know, I'm on the what am I on the 15 here? So I'm on the 15 yard line and I'm going to dot you for 60 and you're calling a prevent D. I mean, more times than not Dang it. Stupid price mode thing. But, I don't know. It's just something, guys. Uh, I, I feel like it's, I feel like it's kind of, I feel like it has a lot of potential. Because you could do something on the right side of the field. And that safety is just like, if he sits there, then you can just wait. You know, and then, and then maybe something opens up. But... I don't know. The three deep is probably the best uh, prevent play for defensively, uh, just because it kind of everything is kind of contained. Um, also, I've also seen this. Some people are calling like Wildcat uh, on the last play on the last play of the drives. Uh, Giants play doesn't have Wildcat in it, but I could see why they would do that. I could see why they would do that. But like I said, you know, just use or catch that man and and, and snatch it. And you could you could be in field goal position. So try it out. I don't know, guys. See what you like. I know we went way over time. Uh, see see if you like it. I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, if you guys don't have Giant Slot Trail, real quick, one thing you can do to to do the same thing is like I said on the right side, just put Des Bryant uh, on the smart routed in route and motion Murray to the right side. Now it's basically just that the in route and the wheel route combine with each other to get a lot of separation. It sucks the safety down. Um, and then you know, just then you just bomb it deep, and you try to use your catch. Motioned out wheel routes to the backs are very effective this year. I think they're more effective than they were last year, in my opinion. Uh, especially if you can get it snapped right before he sets, then he's gonna get little little bursts off the line. And then, like I said, you know, just try to use your catch and try to get downfield quick, guys. So that's my ideas. Those are my couple plays I like to use for deep bombs. Uh, if you like it, uh, let me know. If you don't like it, tell me why you don't like it. What you would you call uh, the wildcat option? Doesn't seem like a bad idea, but I think that these three plays uh, combined with each other are the best deep ball plays because if they make a mistake or they call the wrong play or they don't call this three man deep, uh, it can be it can be crushed. And then again, if you have 15 seconds and they're calling the three deep, what I would do if I had a timeout in 15 seconds and I just take this deep post route to to Williams, call my timeout. 
And then real quick, we'll just go through game plan here. Call my timeout right there, so that, that's about 10 seconds left. And then now what I would do is, with 10 seconds left, now you have two time, you have uh, time to throw two out routes, and I could just throw this wheel route to the left. That's going to give me about 15. I get out of bounds. That's going to give me the ball up to 45, and I'm out of bounds with about five seconds. Uh, let's just say five seconds left. Now they're going to have to play the out routes. So now they call two men under, and I still have an out if they don't call two men under. Let me hop in a quarter. Quarter normal two man under here, and because they're gonna have to call that because they're gonna have to stop out routes. So now they they're trying to stop out routes. I motion Murray out. It's the same exact separation, and now all of a sudden, I have you know a dot over the top of your head. And yeah, can it you know can it get dicey? Do you want to just stick with the out? Yeah, you might just want to stick with the out, but at the same time, it's like. You know, what do you want to What do you want to give up? What do you want to take? Uh, obviously, if the out's there, I'm going to take it. If not, I'm going to try to hit the block over the top. It's just the way things go. But this is what I would do if I had a, a drive. Um, if I had a drive with uh, under 15 seconds to go, one timeout, what would I call? Uh, this is exactly how I would play it. Uh, I think it's pretty pretty smart. I think it works pretty well. And like I said, that, that sets up that, that little... Uh, that deep post route's gonna set up those out routes because you're there. You got two quick plays. Like I said, of the man three deep, uh, the man three deep play call is not gonna stop uh, the wheel route to Murray. So you got a quick eight yards there, and then you take a quick out for ten, and then always remembering that you got that post for a quick dot. It's just so many things that you can get down the field quick this year, guys. You really can. So, uh, thanks for watching today. If you guys have any questions or comments below, uh, leave them in the comment section. And uh, guys, what's your favorite deep ball and what's your favorite defense for uh, 15 seconds with one timeout left? Thanks for watching today. See you later.